I'm recording this now on Saturday, and for those watching, you'll probably see this either Monday or Tuesday, depending on when I actually upload it. Uh, this is not a live commentary. I just want you guys to know, usually I do an, an, episode, an episode of Extremely Badass Championship Wrestling with a live commentary of what I what goes on the, in the match. Usually there's a lot of cussing going on and, pissing, and getting pissed off at the game. That's not going to happen today, even though... Uh, you know, I think I think there was a few times in this match I got a little angry, but I think this other than that, you know, I was it's my, it's Macho Man Randy Savage versus The Rock as you saw, and I'm pretty sure Macho Man beat the shit out of Rock in this match. Yeah, the video will speak for itself, but that's not really the topic, you know. So I do hope you guys enjoy this match. Really, I do, but that's not going to be the focus of today's commentary. Um. For the last two weeks, two or three, two and a half, three weeks, all I've been hearing about is the the upcoming WWE brand split and upcoming draft. I was actually sitting just now before I uploaded this. I'm w I'm listening to JD from New York 206, JD from NY 206, you know, and he has a show called off the script where he gives the news and rumors of what's going on in WWE and um, sometimes in all of professional wrestling depending on who's involved in the story and it's all I'm getting is news about the brand split it's all it's all it's been the last few weeks and that's not a I have no problem with that don't act like I don't have a problem with that it's just wow so much stuff to comprehend um, Believe me when I tell you, when I first found out about the brand split happening, I had literally just woken up. I was checking my stuff on my phone, and I'm sitting here, and all I see is something about a brand split. And I, second, I, I say to myself, holy shit, what's going on here? And I'm scrolling through my phone, on Twitter mostly, because that's usually where I get all my news, um, regarding wrestling anyway. And I see a video with Stephanie McMahon and her brother Shane McMahon. Thank God he's back. Um, and he, like, they say something that there's going to be some major changes happening to SmackDown. SmackDown's going to be live. And then something, something, something. Brand split, draft, holy shit. My mind explodes and I'm not even up five minutes. I'm not even awake five minutes. So... I'm here to give you guys my thoughts about the upcoming WWE draft and brand split, which is happening within a month, with almost in a month. Why it was not planned out more, I have no idea. It seems so sudden, and from what I saw on Raw, um, not this coming week, you know, it's Saturday, but the last Raw I saw when they were in. Damn, I don't, even, I don't even remember where they were in. All I remember is the show was fucking awful. Everything that meant that mentioned the brand split had me worried. Now, let's be honest. I'm going to have a confession. I've maybe only been watching wrestling seven years from 2010 to now, which I'm, I counted. It's like seven years. Um... But I'm pretty sure I'm I'm pretty more I'm more I consider myself more knowledgeable about the product than probably a lot of people would be at this time. But who knows? I could be wrong. And I started watching wrestling towards the end of the first brand split and draft, um, which the first ever brand split happened in 2002. For those who don't know. Um, and towards the end of that, which was 2010, 11, 12, that sort of era, um, is when it was ending. So, I, I pretty much caught the end of it. Now, the pros and cons about this, I wa I've heard from many people. The only two people I trust in when it comes to wrestling news and talk and all that stuff, well, actually three people, or there, well, there's a couple people, including podcasts, are JD from NY, Joe Cronin, Taz from the Taz Show, you know the legend, you know ECW champion, human suplex machine, you know that ring a bell. You know he's mentioned this months ago. I was in college waiting for class to start, and all I hear is him mentioning this. I'm like, okay, why would they do that so soon again? You know, I was scratching my head at that, but I I had a feeling it was going to happen, and turns out it's happened. So 
and who else? Uh, you know, I do watch a couple other. Po- I have, I do listen to a few other podcasts, but I don't listen to them as much as I used to. Um, so yeah, the pros and cons about this. Uh, obviously, SmackDown being live because we all know that WWE has a problem with spoilers and shit when it comes to SmackDown. Basically, this whole thing is really trying to get SmackDown watchable again, in my opinion. But at the same time. It's kind of hurting Raw because if you li- if you listen to anybody, I mean, if you from everything I've heard from Joe Cronin and JD, they say that Raw is going to be hurt because they're splitting the roster and hell, they can't even put on a good show as it is with a full roster. So what's it going to be like with half a roster? That scares me. Two, there's also the idea of two world championships now. Honestly, you've seen this in EBCW. I do have two world championships. But, you know, I don't, you know, this isn't a real wrestling company as much as that would be awesome. You know, it's not a real wrestling company. So I, I can do whatever the fuck I want in my universe mode. So I've always done two world champions. I never did one. But I'm more worried about the fact that um, one title is going to be bigger than the other. You know, towards the end of the first draft, um... Actually, this is how I see it. When the draft first was going on, the WWE title was the only title around at that point. But then at some point, um, they added the world title in. I believe it was like 2000, at some point in 2002, 2003. I'm pretty sure it was 2002. Um, And actually, I thought from seeing matches and storylines that I thought the world title was more important than the WWE title in the beginning, of course. And then towards the end, it kind of shifted back to the WWE title being more important than the world title. But um, that's just how I saw it anyway. Now, I'm worried about a couple things when it comes to the two world championships. I'm f- I have a feeling that the WWE title, as tarnished as it already is with Roman Reigns being champion, is going to be even more devalued with another world champion. You know? Same thing with the tag team championships, sort of. You know... I, uh, I as well have two tag team championships in EBCW, but like I said, it's a fucking video game. Nothing matters. But when it comes to that, everything the New Day has done, and I'm spitting, I'm just talking truth about from what I've heard from other people. I'm not, st- I'm not taking their ideas, I'm just reiterating it to some people who may or may not know. Um, everything the New Day has done within the last year with the tag team titles would, all, would also be devalued. There's also talk of another women's champion... Which another, that would be devalued as well with what Charlotte's been doing with it. So, everything that will be devalued pretty much. With title-wise. Mostly, anyway. I have no idea what the fuck they're going to do with the Intercontinental and the US title. I have no, I have no fucking clue. Alright. I'd say the only other possible con I can think of is the issue of two, like, SmackDown getting its own pay-per-view schedule and Raw getting its own like they did in the mid-2000s. Now, I'm going to be honest. I've seen pay-per-views like that on the WWE Network. And I personally enjoy them for what they were. But keep in mind, I'm watching them about 10 years ahead of the time. So, don't crucify me. I, I just enjoy them for what they are. I'd say the only really, really good thing, though, is Moro Ronaldo being live. If you watch SmackDown... Mauro Ronaldo is a fucking beast taped on, on a tape show. But when he's live, oh my god, I can't wait for that. Anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed my thoughts on the brand split. Let me know what you think in the comments section. And like I said, go watch JD and Joe Cronin, um, Joe Cronin stuff. Because they have really knowledgeable, they're really knowledgeable about the product. Anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed um, this video. Catch y'all in the next one. Peace out.